welcome back to the Middle is Open. Abel Creel here along with Anthony Espeline. What's up? Christopher Creel. Patrick Espeline. Not Medina. And Peter is on the phone because Peter is quarantined. Hmm. Peter, where are you at right now? <laughs> I'm actually in the office of my house and uh, this, this phone thing sucks. <laughs> being, <laughs> being locked away. Being locked away sucks, man. I wish I was in the bar having some beers with you guys, but of course I'm here and I'm trying to be a, uh, a responsible person. Um, at my work, there was a, an outbreak that happened. and The, chimp- I, the um, chimpanzees point- got out again? <laughs> God damn it, those damn chimps. The what? The chimpanzees got out again? I can't hear you, man. Oh, uh, you know what? I think it might be this mask. Peter, you're not in the studio right now, but I'm wearing a luchador mask. <laughs> yeah. Are we, are we going to even... All right. Peter, just keep on talking. Uh, so just give us... Where are you at? What are you doing? What happened? We'll try to not cut you off as little as possible. All right. Well, like I said, I'm doing a 14-day quarantine um, because at work there is... Uh, an outbreak. I don't really want to say where I work, but (laughs) you guys know, um, but I'm going to be out for 14 days. Uh, I went to go get tested today to make sure I'm not infected. I guess that sounds bad too. Sounds like the T virus or something. (laughs) But, um, but basically, uh, I, I, I'm house house down for the next couple of days. And uh, like I said, I wish I was there having a beer. Uh, I am watching the NBA Finals, Same. and uh, I feel like Charles Barkley sitting by himself. Oh. Like, I, is he is he positive or something? Nobody wants to sit next to him. Uh, that's that. Is, is he? That's how I feel right now. Oh, okay. I don't know. He's sitting over there by himself. Oh, but, uh, so that's lonely. how I feel right now. Oh shit! Yeah, we we have the TV on in the background. We're kind of watching it. Chris has really got his. <laughs> Chris has his eyes glued on the TV. Uh, the Lakers and the Nuggets are playing. This kid is good. So, uh, Peter, do you have enough beer to get you through the 14 days? I actually uh, I put in an order with Walmart pickups and bought a bunch of wine for, for Yvonne and a lot of beer for me. So, I think I'm set. I'm set for the next uh, couple of days, hopefully. Hopefully this test comes back negative, but uh, I still gotta still gotta quarantine, even if it's positive or negative. And um, and yeah, so I'm gonna be out of commission for about a couple of weeks. Uh, what? But, but I guess it it's for it's for the best. I mean, a lot of people um, they get told to quarantine and they're they're out and about. So you know, I'm just trying to do my my small part in this. Awesome. We appreciate that. Uh, the process of getting tested, how, how did that go? Uh, is it, is it a little, do do you get nervous when you're getting tested for something like this? You know what, dude? So I was actually going to go to one of the urgent cares. Um, I went to the VA and apparently you have to jump through hoops or get a doctor's (laughs) order. You can't, you can't, damn train <laughs> oh, you that. gotta jump wow hey, that's that's panama pacific baby we're, we're just uh-huh. taking a drink right, right. Yeah, well at the va you gotta jump through hoops and um i was a little pissed off about that but uh apparently um at valle verde they're doing they're doing free testing so anybody that wants to do testing it was really cool uh i i was probably in line for like 20 minutes uh, it was like a drive through You go in, but instead of picking up a Happy Meal, you get a Q-tip shoved up your nose, <laughs> and um, and they scratch your brain with it. So, mm. um, but I mean, that, that's the way it is. You, you got to get tested, and I urge everyone to get tested. It's really simple. Uh, like I said, if you have some time and you think you've been exposed, you definitely should go out and get get checked. I mean, I, I'm tired of living living this pandemic life. I'm ready to go back to normal, but we got to do it. We got to do it right. We got to have people, uh, you know, checking themselves and and just being considered. Don't be a dick. (laughs) Yeah. But that's, that's basically it. Uh, And so I guess I get my results in two, three days or something. Um, So we're going to be house down. We're not going anywhere, but 
you guys feel free to swing by, drop off some food or, or some beer, and I, I'd, I'd love that. Uh, we're going to do a drive-by mooning. We're going to drive by you and moon you as we drive by. It's going to stop. Not, not boys in the hood drive by. No, 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 no. Maybe a paintball gun. <laughs> a paintball <laughs> gun. Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Peter's guts just go everywhere. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Shit, he just got um, a scholarship. But like I said, I, I mean, I wish, I wish I was there with you guys. Uh, like I said, this phone oh. interview stuff is not the same whatsoever. Uh, you guys are coming in a little choppy. I don't know how I sound, but um, I, I really wish I was there, um, having a beer, watching some basketball, and just bullshitting, you know. But uh, unfortunately, this this actually hit hit home, you know. Uh, I think we've gone a while, the whole COVID, without any of us really kind of being affected too much. I mean, some of us, we, we've had friends, family, but I'm saying like us in the studio, we've taken precautions. We've quarantined ourselves at times, but as a, uh, like a member of a team, we haven't really had anyone have to go away until now. That's true. Like, like I said, we've That's had family members affected and friends and stuff, but this is... This shit's real. So. Yeah. Um, are you are you more? Uh, this is the question I have. Are you more scared? Or are you more like frustrated or pissed off? Or or you just feel like you can't blame anyone? It's just the day that we live in. I, I I'm not scared at all, really. Uh, I like to think I'm pretty well taken care of, but um. I'm a little pissed off with the place I work, um, the way things have been after being told that I have to be quarantined, uh, going to the VA to go get tested and getting denied because um, because I don't show symptoms. But what are symptoms? I mean, they're like, uh, they asked me, well, what do you have? And I said, I, I'm a little tired. But I mean, that could be anyone, but you start thinking, I think your mind playing plays tricks on you, oh, yeah. you know, once you start old. So, um, yeah, I felt, I felt kind of discouraged with them. Like if, if I was exposed to it, why not nip this in the butt? Why are you going to send me, send me on my way? If there's a possibility I was in contact with someone. And I think that's the biggest problem is there's all these hoops to jump, but then in the other side, there's little, there's organizations, there's people that are trying to help people get the right information, get the test done and stuff like that. Uh, like, like the testing center where I love it. And I know there's a bunch of others, but it's just the principle of, you know, having to do the research yourself because the, because the information isn't really provided to you from your employer or other, other people or your, your primary care. So it's, it's, you know, I've seen good and bad in, in both. Hey, do you think the process is uh, intrusive? I don't know what kind of questions they ask when you go and get tested, but do you feel like it's an intrusive process? Like they're, um, I don't know, like kind of like getting into like, I, I don't know what I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like personal like, questions? Yeah, or? like personal yeah, yeah, questions. Like, well, no, I mean, the questions are basic questions that you would answer if you went to a doctor for a, for a cold or a flu, it's, yeah. uh, what are the symptoms you're exhibiting? Um, what, how, do you know you've been infected or been in contact with anyone infected? Um, I mean, basic stuff that you would ask someone that may have, ha- uh, may have COVID. I mean, it's nothing like, uh, what was your first grade teacher's name? What was your dog, uh, food brand or nothing like that. Like it's nothing personal. It's, it's strictly uh, medical, I guess. And, and like I said, it was a quick process. I, uh, I guess you could register online mm-hmm. and then, and then go. But since I didn't register, um, they, they give you the information right there. You register on your phone and then uh, they, all it is is your name, your address, uh, an email. It's just information for them to contact you if you do test positive. Right. Like basic information. Cool, cool. And, are you are you working from that, home now? I am working still. So that's one of the hard things is there's this misconception. Like I, I didn't want to go back right to work. I mean, my job could technically kind of be done remotely. Um, granted, it's not the best, but it's still 
you're able to get the job done. Um, so when we were going to go back to work, it was kind of like, well, why are we going so early? We're, we're the first ones from our, you know, from our area going back. Why are we going back? And uh, we all knew, like everyone would joke, like, oh, it's going to be two weeks till we get shut down, three, get, three weeks. Within the first week, we had stuff happening. So it was just one of those things like, okay, now I'm out. I'm back at home. I am, and they're still running, but I'm at home. And yeah. some people would say, "Oh, well, you're getting what you want. You're you're going back to, to doing work from home, right? Remote work." But that's not what I want because I didn't want to be exposed. And it doesn't just affect me; it affects my family, my kids. I can't see my kids there with their mom. They're going to stay there until I'm done. Uh, my my fiance, her family, my family, uh, people I had been in contact with prior to knowing that there was a possible contact with, uh, with someone that, that had it. So, uh, it just puts a bunch of, uh, stress on you, not necessarily for my sake, but for other people involved, my family, uh, my kids. Um, so that's why, I mean, uh, I feel great. I feel fine. Uh, I always have the shit, so that's not a <laughs> that's not too new. But They're like, do you have you diarrhea? Know, yeah, all the time. Uh, I, like I said, I feel good. I could have probably I, I probably don't have it. I could have yeah. probably gone to record. We take precautions there, but why put that risk on anyone? You know? Yeah. So, um, we're doing this whole phone thing. Yeah. So right now, Anthony is actually sitting in your seat. He's keeping it nice and warm. Um, Are you guys still there? Did I lose you? Yeah. No. No. We're here, Peter. Can you hear us? You there? Peter. Well, Peter, come back. No. Hello? He's still there. I can't hear. Uh, oh. I, I think he heard us, but then he just wanted to. He's like, I'm dead. He's like, fuck this. I got a shit. Maybe he had the shit. <laughs> speaking of that, he was like, yeah. speaking of shits. He's I, like, I, I uh, Speaking of that, I got to go. All right. So you I, got, can, I think he's uh, probably going to call back here. Yeah, maybe. Well, I hope so. So you guys, you guys heard obviously what Peter's going through right now. Um, what are you guys' quick thoughts? Like just hearing like I, I the stress, the, the, the nervousness, the fear of just potentially that. getting loved ones infected. What do you, what are you guys' thoughts on that? I'll start with Pat because he's over here to my left. Yeah. Um, I mean, that'd be super scary, especially me, man. Like Jamie's pregnant. Like she has a baby on Saturday when like if I was sick. Yeah. I'm with Jamie all the damn time, so it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then my mother, sketch. Yeah, because you said your mom has like a weakened immune system, yeah, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, so I mean, that's the that's probably the biggest fear. Yeah, that's or like when he was talking about it, I was like, damn, that is pretty scary. Like how wide it goes, like yeah, like how many people you come in contact with, like in like two with, days. Yeah, like, within a couple of days, you like it's just your web, like yeah. it just like. Yeah. You, you never realize how Shout far it reaches out, you know? Yeah. But yeah, that is kind of scary. Um, I don't know, Chris, what are your thoughts on it? It's scary, man. Like, especially with us, like we have our mom sick and then with me and my girlfriend's got like diabetes and, you know, it's just sketchy. And then people at work, I work with old fogies too, so... Yeah, no, like, that's the thing. Like, how many of us know someone that has diabetes, that is overweight, that is, um, you know, has a weakened immune system? That's basically everyone yeah, we know, everybody. you know, yeah. like, uh, we're checking at least one of the boxes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I don't know. It's a scary situation. Obviously, Peter's not here in studio. But like, even if you are healthy, it still can fuck you up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's and what's uh, even crazier. It's about, just, it's a, it's a roll of the dice, really. Yeah. It's like, like, you can be super healthy and still get fucked over. Yeah. By this thing. Well, there, there's there been stories like, there's been stories that people that they get the virus and then it takes them a few months just to get some of their senses back, like the sense of smell and sense mm. of taste. Uh, that's what I'm scared it of. Ta it takes them a few months to get that back. And then there's some, there's, I guess there's been research and they're, they're thinking that later on you could have respiratory issues. You could get over the virus, but then mm -hmm. later on you're going to have respiratory issues that you didn't have before yeah. as well as heart issues, you know? So that, that is the scary thing. Damn, that's fucking hell scary. Why would you say that? 
Yeah. Why would I say that? Yeah, it's sketchy. It's scary. Next time, yeah, I'll... irreversible damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, exactly. So. Damn. Yeah, you. But like, I mean, I, I mean, just to put it in perspective, I mean, smoking's the same way, right? Yeah. I mean, no, of course. But, so is drinking. But, yeah, but. What? It's still scary. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's like Pat's eyes are just opening up for the first time. Like, like is what? this real, guys? Like, <laughs> fuck. This will hurt you. Is this a pandemic that we're in or what? No, that's super. I mean, it's just scary. Um, it is, man. I, on Joe Rogan, the, he had a, a guy. I can't think of his name, but he was telling the story of when he got it. And uh, he's a healthy guy, like relatively healthy. Like You look at him like he's Looks no body fat, yeah. like, you know, pretty healthy guy. Mm-hmm. And he almost died from it. And he ended up giving it to his mom, who's like an 80-year-old Korean woman. And she Just basically had him for like one day, and then she got over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was like they were contacted the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He what, obviously gave it to her. What do, what do you guys think about like uh, some of the drugs that are out there? Like the popular one is that hydroxychloroquine. And w- we talked about it a little bit, Anthony. But um, like remember, uh, there's a podcast and... I guess a show that Anthony and I watch uh, with Brendan Schaub and um, Brian Callen, they mm-hmm. both contracted the virus and they mm-hmm. were saying that uh, Brendan Schaub took hydroxychloroquine and whereas Brian Callen didn't and Brendan Schaub was talking about like how he was able to recover a lot faster, mm-hmm. but also that Brian Callen's like 25 years older than yeah, him, you yeah, know, true. so. So those are the things like, what do you guys think about some of the drugs out there? Um is that something if a doctor had recommended like, Hey, how about you try this drug? Or do you feel like there's not enough information out there with a lot of these drugs? And you might just want to, I guess, I don't know, you take antibiotics or what is the process to it? And would you try to fight it with the least amount of drugs? Uh, me personally, dude, I'm, I, I hate taking medicine like period. Yeah. Like, I go to the dentist, get my tooth pulled, they give me Vicodin, like, I end up with the whole bottle. Like, I don't yeah. use it. Like, I just, I, I'm, I've never been that way. You still have some? So, when, <laughs> <laughs> just kid. so, oh, so when you get the common, like, when you get the common flu or a cold or whatever, you tend to just try to fight it, like, your own immune system? Yeah, yeah. Like, it, dude, I'm, I rarely get sick as, like, as yeah, it is. Yeah, I was about to like, say, I, like, do you even get sick, Anthony? I don't think I've ever seen If it, so. I do, it's, like, one day and then, like, oh, wait, it's you, gone. Like, I'd never get sick. But see, I never yeah. get the flu shot either. Yeah, I've not had yeah, the flu I've, shot I've, the last five years. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've ever had the never flu had shot. the flu shot. Maybe I have. I haven't but. gotten in like maybe like five or six years. Yeah. Well, I know my work does it for free, and I've been there ten years. You have to do it once, yourself, or what? not once have I gone. Um, no, they have a nurse come and oh, do it. I, but the whole time I've worked there, I've never taken it. You know, you and know so that's ten years. I've never had the flu shot, but know, I never get sick. You know what's trippy is I went to uh, Walmart today uh, just in and out to get like the little coffee pods. You know what mm. I'm talking about mm-hmm. for the Keurigs and yeah. shit. I just went in and out. And while I was like walking out, I heard like on the intercom, it's like, hello people. Hello, Walmart customers. Uh, we are giving, um, oh, free flu, flu, sh- shots free flu shots yeah. in garden center. Come on down and get one. <laughs> <Garden> <laughs> and I was like, like, I've <laughs> never heard that announcement, like giving free flu shots in garden center. And I was like, interesting. Like what's even scarier is like the flu shots are gonna be like, dis- like distributed like between people and stuff, and then people are gonna get even sicker because like you get the flu shot and then you get sick. You sick. get sick, yeah. And like that's gonna be even like sketchier. So. Yeah, see that's what that's that's what always kind of tripped me out about the flu shot because it's like everyone says like oh you're gonna get sick for if you like after you get it and I'm like. What's the point then? You're basically just getting, you're like planning getting, to get sick now it, so that like, you don't yeah. get it unexpectedly. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't see the, the so. upside to that, you know? But again, like if, if I was like really hurting and like I had like, yeah, give me whatever you recommend, man, give it to me. But I think I'd have to like play it by ear, like depending on how bad I felt. Like if I couldn't breathe, like, yeah, that, yeah like, yeah, that, obviously you got to do something about it, you know? Yeah, but that, it is kind of scary because none of this stuff has had any testing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, long term. I think the the thing that scares me most is that it like everyone reacts to the virus differently. Yeah. Like you said, that guy, healthy dude, and then his mom, fucking eighty year old woman. Yeah. And one's like suffering greatly, and the other one's just like. The yeah. funny thing is, she kept giving him shit for it. Oh really? She's like, you weak, you weak. I get one day, and I'm over. Like, <laughs> yeah, fuck? but damn, so so you, you suck. She, you almost died. She's Korean. Yeah, dude, a- Asians 
are very healthy. Yeah. They're very healthy. Well, especially like, Polynesian. I think, I think he's he's <laughs> half his dad is black and his mom is Korean. Oh, uh, okay. I can't remember his name, but uh Tiger Woods. <laughs> the, yeah, we're about. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> shout out Tiger Woods. I don't know, man. It's kinda <laughs> listen it's to kinda our scary. podcast. So it's a it's a shame that Peter wasn't he can't be on the show today, but I, I kind of want to like switch things over to our fantasy football league. Jeez. Um, don't talk about it, bro. L- well, let's talk about it a little bit. So last week yeah. I was taking on Patrick. He ended up beating Patrick me. Es- Patrick who? Is Patrick Espeline. <laughs> that's it. There. And that's, that's the name he gave me. And let's go. Yeah, man. He he beat me pretty bad. So Patrick, you are the lead dog right now. Dude, you the are the squad looks good, man. The people I got are like yeah. putting up numbers like Yeah, you're the number I mean, one. It's seed. barely week two. Like I'm not mm-hmm. trying to like say anything. Well, crazy, it's week three going in week three. We're going into week three. Yeah. Yeah. Did the injury bug yeah. Hold on. Um, hold yeah, 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 we'll yeah. Fuck all you guys up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to Well, yeah, that. well, like Devontae Adams, like he's out for them my next week yeah. against uh the twisted Pete. And uh yeah, I mean, he put up like 40 something points in Jesus. week one. I was like, Jesus Christ. Devante yeah. Adam. Shout out to fucking Jamie for picking my fantasy, too. Yeah. So this week you're playing Peter? Yeah, I got Peter. Okay, so uh, Patrick's 2 and 0, uh, and everyone else is 1 I'm, or. I'm 0 and 2. Okay, Anthony's 0 and 2, and I'm 1 and 1. You and Peter. You, t- you played Peter last week. And I did. And he and beat you Chris, back. Chris, why aren't yeah, you in the he did. Why aren't you getting the I didn't get invited. No, no, it's just four. <laughs> it's just the four of us. <laughs> I'm sorry. And plus, you can't have an odd number. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we had. Yeah. I'm sorry, Chris. We just, we're, yeah. Chris, <laughs> you're like, Chris, we like, do. We need to get Chris. another person. Chris is the intern. <laughs> He just, he's like the substitute teacher. He just sits in whenever one of us. <laughs> to be honest, it was last week. Yeah, like, like, we totally, literally yeah, did it totally like two was. hours. Peter, <laughs> Peter really like was. two hours that before day. the first game of the season. <laughs> Dude, that was fun. I had fun. But um, I didn't even think I was going to be I was driving scene. to play golf. I was like, Jamie, you have to do this. And she was like, what? And I was like, just pick people. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I was like, whoever's good, pick it. And she was like, this guy? And I was like, yeah, go ahead. Boom. <laughs> I don't pick. She's like Brett Favre. Yeah. Like, I think he's no, no, retired, no. but he's well, she like good. knows football. And she was like, she was just nervous. She's like, no, I don't want to do it. And I was like, you have to do it. Like, if you don't oh. pick it, I can't pick and drive at the same time. <laughs> so basically, you're saying we lost to Jamie. Yeah, you guys have lost wow. to Jamie. Yeah, yeah. Much. shout out Jamie. All right, shit, man. Maybe we should have included her and Chris. Then. <laughs> yeah, but it would still be like, um, no, oh, no, no. It would work. It yeah. would work. Yeah, we should have. Now you guys come up with a good idea. But anyways, in the Panama division, Peter is in first place. He's one and one. I'm one and one as well. So that Panama division, um, yeah, it's going to be tight to the very end. So if the playoffs were going to end, if the playoffs were going to start today, Patrick would be taking on Peter Pacific versus Panama Mm. for the Super Bowl, the championship. What are we calling our championship game? Because we've um, talked about the trophy, we've talked about like the, the losing, Oceanic Cup, <laughs> the what? Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The Bourbon Bowl? No, <laughs> no, mm. no. But um, we'll think about know. this. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to think about it. But anyways, uh, moving over to real, moving on up, moving on, up. moving on over <laughs> to real football. <laughs> the Cowboys had a big win this past Sunday. Anthony and I were in Charlie's Bar watching it together. Patrick, where were you watching the Cowboys game? Um, do you guys know where the old three-legged monkey used to be? Uh, yeah, like now Mon- is it Montana Hawkins? Montana. It's called yeah. uh, what, yeah, what it's is a fourth and goal. Yeah, there you fourth go. Fourth and goal. That's where the Raiders fan club is. No, it's actually a Packer fan club. Oh no! Uh, yeah, so oh, yeah, because the girlfriend's family's cheese heads, right? I was telling mm. you guys. So we went there, and it was actually pretty tight. There's a couple of Cowboys fans there, so. Like when I first got there, there was it was just me, and I was like, "Fuck, this is gonna suck." But then, like a whole table of like fucking bottles walked in, and I was like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> bottles. Yeah, I was like, "Hell yeah, let's go!" Isn't isn't that weird how like that happens, right? Like you're put into a situation where you're like the odd man, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then somebody comes in with the same jersey, dude. and you're like across. You don't know that guy. Never you're s- like, "Hey, dude, never seen this guy you, in my man. life." By the end of the game, uh, I took shots. I was taking like I took like three shots with this guy. Oh yeah, like, man. Hell yeah, let's do it. That's that's the best thing about sports. You know what I mean? Like it brings people together. It exactly. does exactly. Yeah. Like exactly. he was like, "Hey, cowboy fan," and I was like, "Oh," he was like, "Come here," and I was just like, "Yeah, you want to take a shot?" And I was like, "Hell me? yeah, let's Who, go." Me? 
Yeah, that's a good feeling. It is. Uh, what su- was even better, like, is like we were down twenty to zero and just getting ragged on, right? Because it's like the Cowboys and it's like yeah, Packers, because yeah. they're like, cheeseheads and whatnot. But haters. Was yeah, there- it, it, yeah, it's like they talk about how Cowboys fans are bad. There's so many Cowboy haters out there that are Dude. just like you're just like Jesus oh, yeah. Christ. No. <laughs> it was, it was you're like you think I'm bad. You should listen to yourself. It's intense. It was funny because I was watching. Uh, the 49ers, Anthony was nice enough to get the 49er game on one TV and then um, the Cowboys were playing on the other TV and I would just kind of peek over at the Cowboy game and I was like man, poor Anthony. Like I'm not a Cowboy hater. I'm not a Cowboy fan but I've never been a Cowboy <laughs> hater. But I was just thinking like poor Anthony man. He's struggling over there. Yeah, and dude, and then pissed. like toward dude, the- I was so upset. I was so quiet. Dude, toward the end, I started rooting like for the Cowboys. I was like, "Come on, guys, we're in Anthony's house. Like, come on, man! <laughs> it's Charlie's bar. It's out. Charlie's <laughs> bar. Come like, on, spirits! Fucking, I, I I brought some spirits. donuts over. He's probably gonna get a donut and Dude. just fucking throw it at the TV or something." My girlfriend literally changed it to Lifetime. She's all like, "I'm tired really? of this is, shit." Is she a Cowboy oh, fan? Man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, dude. It yeah, was like Lifetime. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yo, I'd rather watch the Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. But yeah, the Cowboys came back. What are you What are you guys' yeah, thoughts of that game and how they came back? Are you guys satisfied? Obviously, you want the win, but are you guys satisfied with the performance, how they played the last two quarters? Like, what were some of the highs and definitely the lows of that game? Dude, fuck me anthony well when we first started the game like we would text each other like me you and peter because mm-hmm. we were just so bad yeah and we were like fuck like this sucks bunch like, of cuss yeah, words like it was the the group chat was off the charts <laughs> it was fun but i was like dude this sucks it was 20 to 0 and uh jamie's dad was just looking at me and like kind of just like well i'm sorry like that sucks but i was like damn like fuck and they're just people just talking shit about the cowboys and then i guess like fucking second half started and just my dad said it as like everything just started to go right or like just started to work to their momentum and I was mm-hmm. like, Hell yeah, like like that fucking onside kick, like what the fuck, dude? Like yeah. that <laughs> shit was so wild. Like, a without a T. It, it was a miracle, it. dude. Literally, I think that that's the definition of a miracle. Dude, like, like even Moose Johnson was like, he's kicking in without a fucking T. Yeah, like yeah. Well if you fuck? if you look, they actually called timeout. They called timeout because when they lined up to do the kick, they saw he was going to kick it without a tee, and they took a timeout. Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta did. And so I, I guess that threw them off, too, because I know that in the broadcast, they said this is the first time I've ever seen an onside kick without a tee. Dude, this fucking guy knew something. He put the ball down and was like, all right, bitch. Yeah. Just lined up to it. Dude, the razzle dazzle on that football. <laughs> the razzle dazzle. What I do you swear. guys? What do you guys think about Dak? He threw over four hundred fifty yards or something. He shit had like a that. fucking was, badass game. Like it felt like he was. Like, I felt like he struggled. Well, not struggled, but like I don't it, know that t- that whole game just felt tough to me. Like it's crazy because it didn't even seem like Anthony and I we were watching it and we kept on like going over the stats. We're like, dude, he just threw over three hundred. He just threw over four hundred. Yeah, four fifty, and we're like. What the fuck? It didn't even seem like he even like passed two hundred yards. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it, it, that's it what was, it felt like. I think because of the turnovers, the turnovers is mm-hmm. dude. Oh my god! I don't know how to feel about that game. Like, yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm happy we. Won, I kind of but... like try to like uh, categorize it. Like, okay, they a bunch of shit went wrong to get them in the hole. Like yeah. that's that's what threw the entire game off, right? Yeah, if that had not happened. Who knows how things would have yeah, turned out? It was twenty out. points off turnovers. That was yeah, but then it's kind of like at the same time, it's, it was nice to see them rally back and not like give up hope, especially with a new yeah. coach, new season. Uh, I think it, it's a defining moment. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. think it's it kind of something that they can look back, like as the season goes, look back and like, look, we've been in the hole, we can get out of it. Totally. But it was kind of like it's kind of at the same time like you fucking idiots put yourself in the hole. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Just because you can get out stupid, doesn't make it right. Stupid mistake. Like you you dug the hole. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of weird. But I did I did like the way some of our uh, rookies and stuff stepped up. Uh, we had a lot. Uh, D.D. Lamb. Yeah, like we had a lot of CD, players dude. that did. Uh, C.D. Fucking stepped up. I I, I was hoping that up. guy did a fucking or had a good game and now. Do you think that momentum will carry on? To carry the on against the Seahawks. I fucking hope so. Shit, but we're playing in Seattle. Yeah, yeah I think like, the confidence will definitely help them. Uh, 
you know, because trying to start 0-2 in the season, I mean, yeah, that's tough. Yeah, you know what I mean? So tough. I think that momentum will kind of help them. But it, it's good. I think definitely Seattle's a harder team than Atlanta. So it's it's going to be even harder. So if they get into a hole like they did this last game, yeah, they're screwed. They're not getting out of it. See, the, one of the benefits – to play in Seattle this year is they don't have the 12th man. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be no crowd. So, yeah, they're playing an away game against Seattle. And Seattle is a really good team. Oh, yeah. But they don't have that 12th man. So, you know, the noise level should not be a factor. Very similar to, like, playing the New Orleans Saints, mm. you know. Um, you're basically taking the home crowd away. Uh, and you've seen, like, a lot of teams that have had that home field advantage. Yeah. They've been struggling this year without the crowd so i think they could only like raise the decibels up to like 75 yeah or something like i don't even know how loud that is but in other words it's not as loud as no not as loud it's not louder than a jet engine i think the jet engine is like 90 decibels or something oh shit yeah i know they have like a the meter or whatever at the cowboy stadium yeah it's always at 100 yeah (laughs) (laughs) but it doesn't i don't know (laughs) It sounds loud, like when you, especially when there's a touchdown or something. Like, dude, it it gets, you can feel it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the vibration, like your balls. Yelling. What was the team you saw at the Cowboys Stadium? The Eagles, right? Well, I, um, I've seen the Texans, the Dolphins, the Giants, and the Eagles mm. play there. Man, I which feel one was sorry for the Giants? Yeah, which one was the best? Which one was the best? Like, was it the Eagles or was it the Giants? Which oh, one? Dude. Which one was like? That you really wanted that W. Oh. Like, which is the bigger rival, you know? Well, I think we lost against the Eagles, so oh. I never got did to you feel lose? that. You yeah, saw... I think we did lose. Really? I thought he had won, like, overtime. When he had... Was it with my dad? That he won? <sighs> yeah. We all sat sep- separately, but... No, you guys won. It was, like, Jason we win in the fucking, like... Maybe we did Fourth win. quarter, like, with, like, three seconds left. Oh, you know what? Shit. Yeah, it was a win. Yeah. Cause I remember being like, "Holy shit!" And my I don't know. Was texting me though, like, "It's the fucking best, nuts," and I was like, "I fucking bet." The and, best one was the Giants though, because that's when uh, oh, we Lucas? got field. Yeah, we got field. Shout out Lucas! It was his birthday. Lucas. Fuck yeah! And so like I was sitting on the sideline basically, yeah. so that was like off the <laughs> it was off the, the charts, <laughs> dude. Like was, I was, it was the time. revenge. game. I was on cloud nine, like yeah. the revenge game because of Icebox. Yeah. Get it, I get it. I was an obnoxious fan too. Hey, like, yeah. I'm surprised. You, you saw I can't of Fame. I can't even see Anthony as an obnoxious fan. Dude, like he says obnoxious. Like nah. what's Anthony obnoxious level? So he so I, I, rem- I remember this play, Dak threw the ball and it like literally hit uh Connor Barwin. The um I this is Anthony obnoxious. It's all right, guys. No, we'll no, get him on the next no, one. No, no. We'll get so, him on the next one. So like he literally <laughs> threw it right to him and he fucking missed it. Like he didn't catch it, right? And so, like, he's running to the sideline. And, like, the sideline, it's probably to, like, where the laundry room is, right? That's about how far the bench was from about, where I was sitting. About 20 feet, maybe? Yeah. And so, he comes running back to the bench, and he's, like, man, doing this, clapping around. Like, fuck, man. And he goes, and he's talking to, I don't even know who other player that was there, but on the bench, they're sitting down. Yeah. And he's, like, talking to him, and he's, like, man, I almost had it like this. And I'm fucking screaming, but a finger bar win. You suck. I'm like on, on this side screaming at him. How many beers were you? In? Oh, dude, deep, I was deep into it. I probably, I probably. <laughs> so those tickets that I got were nosebleed. It was the, the cheapest tickets I could get. Right. Like the shittiest quality seats. And we ended up getting the best seats. Right. Yeah. And so oh, I was awesome. like, fuck it. I'm going to go all out. So I probably spent like a hundred and something dollars in beer. But oh, it's only as be- you should, Anthony. But it's only because should. it was only because the bar was like right there. Shout out, Luke. So like I didn't have to go through the stands and then like go wait in line. It was literally like I'm watching the game and like let me grab a beer, run over here, hey give me a beer, and then run back. And I was like right there. Yeah. Like I didn't Fuck. have to wait in yes. line. Shit, so like it was like, dude, I was like two at a time. You know, They're like, like oh, would you like two cups? Or yeah. Four. And I, and I kept and I, I kept yelling at uh, Odell Beckham. <laughs> So yeah. he was on the bench and I was like, Don't cry, Odell, don't cry. Dude, I was I was screaming some shit at yeah, him. Yeah, I bet Anthony Rowdy would be tired. Yeah. It was it was I was Imagine Anthony dressed as I didn't Rowdy. Give a fuck, so dude. I didn't give a fuck. I'm telling you, I was on Cloud Nine, like from the shittiest nosebleed tickets to like on the grass, basically. Like, fuck, dude. That's like sitting next to the dugout. Yeah. That's that'll like, never happen again in my life. That's why I was like, I told him I'm like Bring out the credit card, man. Fuck it. Yeah. You want more beer? Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Anthony's like, I'm still paying for that trip right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Three no. years later. And then we got a shitty uh, hotel or motel or whatever across from the stadium. So we just walked. Like, so we didn't have to worry about driving or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So we got we got pretty pretty hammered. That's lit. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Man, I I need to see a fucking. I was supposed to be in Green Bay last. Was this last weekend? Oh yeah, to really? go to the game. Yeah, we were supposed to go see that game. Fuck. I was like, fuck. And how does that work? Do you get your money back? Or yeah, we got all our money back. Okay, because Anthony was talking about it. Um, <laughs> Rage Talking Against the Machine. Rage Against the Machine. Uh, that concert was supposed to happen in March, was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, in March. And fucking Anthony, well, tell us, man. Yeah, so I, I tried to look on to see if uh, like I could just cancel and get my money back for him. Yeah. But they won't let you, they won't give you a refund because technically the concert's not canceled. It's been postponed. postponed. Yeah, yeah. And so for a later date. And it's like, so they've just now rescheduled till June of 2021. Rage Against the Machine? Yeah. Jeez. But it's still like, dude, like it's been an, a two, year. Two, and, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, I'd rather have the money right now. You know what I mean? Like, oh, kind of need that the, shit. Yeah, fuck the concert. You know what I mean? I'd rather have the money right now. But how, they didn't even give you that option, which is kind of like. How confident are you that in June you're going to be able to see Rage Against the Machine? Oof, good question. I don't know, man. Not confident. I think no. they'll probably postpone. What was it in Cruces or here? No, it's here. Dude, yeah. and Andrew were supposed to go, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was uh, me, and my brother. Well, I got him two tickets, and then I had two tickets, so oh, it was gonna smart. be me, Amber, and his uh, Jenny, and then Andrew, my brother. Now it's just gonna be Ayrton and Andrew. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He's like, gonna take. Like, gotta get a babysitter now, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. All right, so sucks. this past weekend, the 49ers played. They won their first game, me. and they won, feeling? and I was happy that they won. They look good. But you know what, dude? I'm like, I'm so pissed off, and I'm so sad because fucking it seemed like every play a 49er was going down, and not just like Joe Blow or whatever, like guys from the kickoff team. It was like stars. It was star players getting hurt. Fucking Nick Bosa. What our, happened to Nick Bosa? Our, he tore his ACL, ACL. man. No He's out for the season. No way. Yeah. yeah. Who else? So Nick Bosa got hurt. Uh-huh. Solomon Thomas got hurt. Moster got hurt. Jimmy G got hurt. It, it was just... Kittle. Yeah. I have San well, Francisco's Kittle was, defense. I Kittle was out the before. week before. Um, What's today? Did uh, Thursday night football already start? Yeah, yeah. Thursday night. Fuck. Started. Yeah, but, um, started. yeah, man. So Forgot fucking, to do your picks. Oh, I have San Francisco's defense. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh. They're not playing, though. You're good, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 you can yeah. still switch it yeah, as long you as you don't switch it to a team that's playing tonight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. 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 But anyways, so the 49ers, they definitely got hit with the injury bug. But it wasn't just them. It was also teams a like lot of teams, the yeah. Giants. Saquon Barkley's out. You know, you have Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. He's out. Um what are you guys' thoughts? Anthony and I were talking about it. Like we talked about a bunch of stuff <laughs> that Sunday because yeah. yeah. we were watching football. Um, but do you think it's because of preseason? Uh, there wasn't a preseason. There wasn't a, an opportunity for these players to kind of get their reps in. Are guys out of shape? Are guys, you know, just not up to par? Well, it's because these guys didn't even hit each other. What do you mean? Well, in practice, I don't think they hit each other and stuff like that. Yeah, the Cowboys said that their first and, practice with like hitting yeah. was game one. They didn't do yeah, any yeah. hitting. Yeah, so all. it's like no, con- yeah, no, no contact, contact. contact. At all, like, but do you do you think that is the reason? Uh, so many guys are getting hurt, or are you thinking guys are getting hurt because the 49ers brought up uh, something about the stadium? What is it, MetLife Stadium? That the the field turf isn't up to par it's not a there's something up with it because they just recently swapped it out Mm. this summer so a lot of guys were getting hurt on that field and they're and they want the nfl to i guess investigate or some shit like that and then Mm. the crazy thing is this coming week the 49ers are playing the giants so they're staying in the same stadium for their second game in a row oh yeah that's weird yeah right two road games the same place. Yeah, yeah. Play the Jets, and now they're mm. going to be playing the Giants. Interesting. So, I don't know, man. It kind of sucks that so many star players are getting hurt. Um, when the season first started, I was more afraid of, like, big stars getting sick, like, with the virus. Mm. Oh, yeah, like, right. Like, oh, no, shit. They're going to they're gonna be out for, like, a few. A couple of weeks. For least. a couple of weeks or whatever. Like that's gonna suck. Like we we talked about Pat Mahomes. If he gets if he gets sick with the virus, automatically he's out for two weeks. 
But now instead, it's like players are really getting hurt and they're out for the season. They're tearing ACLs and things like that, you know, like season ending injuries. So I don't know, man. What, what do you guys think with the injury bug? I mean, it's bound to happen. I'm pretty sure like it's in every football season, I guess it's, it happens. But never like this, though. But I mean, I, now it's just so many stars. I, mean, you would, I had somebody compare it like to when they did the holdout or whatever. The year after they did the holdout, when they got back, there was a lot of injuries that first couple weeks, too. And I guess that kind of does play into, like, it's kind of like, like, if you don't, like, I guess in boxing, I guess, like, if you don't know how to take a punch, like, like obviously. If you don't spar, like, yeah, how, like you, how does that you need to fighting, so. get hit. You yeah. need to, t- like, harden, I guess, your I body. Get that groove back on, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially in football, yeah, it's kinda, I would say. It's kind of yeah. like combat sports, like uh, yeah. like boxing or MMA. Yeah. You need that training camp, yeah. like that 8-12 oh, yeah. week yeah. training camp just to get you prepped for the fight. Um, and like we, we were saying, these guys didn't have like the OTAs. They didn't nope. have the mini camps. No they didn't have, mini camp. Yeah, no. so, I mean, it, it sucks, man. Because cool. like the NFL. Just it, right into it. Just, all right, there you go. Yeah, like cold turkey, you know right. what I mean? Like, but, it, but it's wild because... If you think about it, college football kind of goes that route. They don't have preseason. They just go week one, they have, and uh, they're playing. But they got two they, they got training camps. camps. They yeah. got spring ball, and yeah. then all of a sudden they got fall Yeah, ball. but I think they you're younger, ball. too. At that age, I think you're a little more resilient. Like some of these older players, like, dude, they like they, they got to warm up to it. You know what I mean? Like I don't think you can just. but but see, And then like a lot of them, too, are like muscle, like soft tissue, right? Yeah. And so like I think like. Let's say like Julio Jones, for example, like he had a hamstring or whatever. I have right? him in my fantasy. I like, sat him down, actually. Like during practice, you're running hard, but your adrenaline's yeah. not pumping. You're not like running hard, yeah, hard. Yeah. You're not pushing yourself. And it's so like, like game in a game, time. like yeah. when your adrenaline's pushing, you're you're ex- overextending yourself. And then that's yeah, yeah. when you get a, 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 hang, a hamstring or something like that. And that, I think you need that, like that actual game, like scrimmage, practice, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's just too soft now. I don't too know. soft. So, who it's are soft. your biggest surprises and your biggest disappointments after week two? Damn, that's a hard question. I mean, it's not really. I mean, it's still, I think it's still, still early, early in the season, yeah. and especially with all the injuries that are going on, I think you're not going to be able to answer that question until about week five. Because look how flat-footed Kansas City looked against mm-hmm. the Chargers. And you know, that was against that. a second-string quarterback. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the, and a rookie quarterback. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like that first game that Kansas City played, everyone was like, oh, man, they're back to that Super Bowl team. Look at They did look good the first they game. They look fucking badass yeah. against a team like the Texans and blah, blah, blah. Then they go and play the Chargers, and they look flat. They look like, I guess, like a, you and know. They're like, tired, maybe? No, they they played on a Thursday night and then they played on a Sunday. Sunday. Mm. So if they had more than a week and a half. Dude, I gotta say my Raiders are fucking surprising the fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the Raiders. Shout I won't. Raiders. Go, I won't go on, on that. Yeah, guy, he's right? gotta he be a yet. hater. You know? <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, not Derek, a hater. Derek Carr looked good. He did look really good. The defense looked fucking good. Yeah, that's another. I thing. think what's carrying the Raiders is their running back. Well, it's a, it's a new stadium though too. That that gets you pumped up. That's you know true. what I mean? Like you're you're you're. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Peter, Peter, did you come Peter, back? is that you? <laughs> Peter, I think he's on line one. <laughs> it's like fucking I got that the poultry guys. <laughs> Fuck, Since dude. Easter. Since Easter. But no, it, well, the day we were watching the, the games, it was we were trying to get the TV set up for for the Niners, and it was like, we're, so we're watching the Cowboy game. And then it's like we finally get the game on, and it was like three, three, three injuries oh. for the nine. It was like what the fuck? <laughs> and then like as we're watching, just another one and another one. Yeah, it was like oh my <laughs> DJ god, Khalid. But, <laughs> but but it sucks, dude. Because <laughs> I was I was telling Anthony like I'm cursed, dude. I'm cursed. Whenever I wear somebody's jersey, they fucking get they hurt? get hurt. You wear Bosa. I had, I had the Nick Bosa shirt. Jesus. So, you wore the Garoppolo last time. And man. I wore the Garoppolo last time. So, Who's yeah. The, ol- the other one you have? Yeah, fuck that. I'm going to burn them all. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? No, but that guy already retired, no? Oh, yeah. Patrick Willis. When I bought Patrick <laughs> Willis, fucking next season he retires. And it's like, what the fuck, fuck is I going told, on? I told Abel, I'm going to get him a Brady jersey. Hopefully oh. Brady will get hurt. <laughs> so, 
Nah, put that to the dude, test. but the, I felt that way too because the first game I wore my Van Der Esch jersey, brand new jersey, never worn. I did new jersey for the yeah. season, right? Put it on, he gets fucking hurt the first game. I was yeah, like, what Jesus the fuck? Christ. And so last week I was like, man, I was nervous to even wear one. I was you, like, you should have gotten the wooden. I was about yeah. to put the wooden jersey on. I, I, I was like, at it. least like. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull a pat and just wear that faded ass <laughs> dude, fucking Roy Williams. Dude, J- Jamie saw this and she was like, "What is this?" And I was like, "Dude, I was like, guess what?" I was like, "This is the first ever OG, OG Roy Triple Williams." G. Shout out Oklahoma, Shout out. Roy Williams. I still got my Go Charles Texas. Woodson. Charles Woodson, dude, dude, that fucking jersey I'm carrying to the grave. Though. I'm yeah. getting buried with that jersey. <laughs> no, and then the, and it's then like you, on, on, and then you wear it and you find out he dies or something. Yeah, you're like, yeah. oh, well, like, so, that's I what fucking I love. Really. That's exactly what I was telling Anthony. I was like, fuck, dude, I'm just going to wear like the retired players like Joe Montana or the Steve Young. But then I was like, with my oh, luck, the fucking okay, Joe Montana is going to die or some shit like that. It's he like, gets hit by a ball. Right <laughs> Well, Joe Montana got struck by lightning. <laughs> what, three what? times? Is Joe Montana or Joe Montana? <laughs> Joe Montana. Montana. <laughs> nah, so. Tony. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Tony Montana. Uh, I fucking hate yeah. football, man. I don't know. I think I think definitely the it's gonna be a good year. The no the no OTAs and stuff really fuck. Yeah. Fucked them up. I'm looking forward to college football now since the Hell yeah, conference the uh, conference uh, is gonna start playing. All right. Well, let, let's skip over to that because. Chris is bringing college football. Um, just today, the Pac-12 announced that they are going to play football this fall. Um, like, when was it? Three weeks ago, they were like, <laughs> that you, God, Chris, Peter? what the fuck? <laughs> Chris is like, what's that noise? <laughs> yeah, no. Do I have a tumor? <laughs> that was Slender Man. <laughs> 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 okay, when, you're, when you're asking about the scary movies and shit, <laughs> fuck yeah. you, we have one in the making right here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Chris. Chris <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Siniestro. <laughs> <laughs> El burro. <laughs> El burro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> right now, the lights just start flickering. <laughs> Charlie, is that you? <laughs> La, 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 what was it? <clears throat> El perro niño. <laughs> what? what? Did we watch that video? <laughs> oh, yeah. Last week. <laughs> the, oh, Two it. girls, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We didn't watch that. That was you, Pat. <laughs> no, no, no. La uh, okay. perra ninja. <laughs> dude, imagine if Chris just like flips over right now and starts walking backwards like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, dude, up on the ceiling. <laughs> like, go out the doggy door. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Easy. He gets stuck. He gets stuck going out the doggy door. <laughs> Chris is like that fat girl from Nacho Libre that can't get out of the secret tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> He's just uh, all stuck like uh, 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 How'd you get up here so fast? <laughs> Secret tunnel <laughs> She's like oh It's a big ass hole in the wall <laughs> Oh shit I like when he leaves And she's like <gasps> She like dives back into the hole <laughs> So funny Oh my god uh, Dude that's two Nacho Libre references tonight yeah. We had the haven't <laughs> fucking, I have had diarrhea since <laughs> the <laughs> And now the fucking, fucking Peter. <laughs> Ramses is number one. I have to watch that. Oh, and I had my <laughs> Lucha Dor mask. Oh, damn. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Ramses. <laughs> Shit, this is the Nacho Libre yeah, episode, Nacho man. Nacho Libre. <laughs> fuck, but. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what were we talking about? Yeah, we're going to talk about college, college football, football. But um, the Pac 12 is going to be playing this fall. And then uh, they're starting on November 6th, I believe. And then. The fucking Big tw- Big Ten is going to start in late October. So it seems like everyone's getting back into the mix. Whereas three weeks ago, it, it looked like the college football season was over. The one thing I feel is kind of weird is it's week four in the college football season. And there's like nine teams that are ranked in the top 25 that have yet to play. <laughs> So it's it's Either. fucking weird. And I wanted to bring this up to Pat because he's a big UT fan. Number nine, let's go. So, no, they're actually number eight. They're tied for number eight. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, last time I saw it was nine. So UT's the number eight team in the nation. Um, they're going to be taking on Texas Tech this mm-hmm. Saturday. The Red Raiders. Patrick, how do you feel this season's going to go for Texas? Because 
Their QB looks so fucking good. Dude, shout out Sam Ellinger, dude. Sam Ellinger like, is a fucking absolute unit, dude. Yeah, but they they were playing UTEP. They were playing UTEP. Yeah, they worked on first play of the scrimmage. They fucking <laughs> scored. So, shout out to Sam Ellinger. Yeah, so. Also threw for like 600 yards. They're, they're going to play Texas Tech, and then they have another game after that. And then I think it's Oklahoma. Oklahoma, yeah. I can't wait for that shit. Um, that there's going to be I, – I was looking at their schedule. There's only about two – I think two teams that are ranked – that are currently ranked in the top, top 25. 25. So do you think if they could get by Oklahoma, Oklahoma. that they're going to be playing for a national title? Dude, I fucking hope so, man, because they look really good. Yeah. Especially like last week, they fucking. So is this like their first test? Obviously, it's against a rival like Texas Tech. Is this their first test? Definitely. Um, are Are you nervous though? It's at Lubbock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I was telling Jamie, I was like, I don't care what we're doing on Saturday, but I have to, cause like the first two games, like the UTEP game, I was in Vegas, I didn't really watch, and then this last week's game, I barely like caught it. And I just kind of watch highlights, but like Texas Tech is like 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 you said, the first like major test of the season. You definitely want to get a W over them. But no, yeah, like fucking, they look good. Everybody looks like they're fucking just firing on all cylinders. It's pretty lit. Anthony, um, you're not a big college football fan. If no. I had two tickets to go see the UTEP Miners, like you and I to go see it, would you go with me? Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. I've All been. Right. I've been to Anthony. I don't have two tickets. <laughs> oh, guess what? But it's no. crazy. They're selling them for forty dollars each. Are they really? Yeah. Why so expensive? Because basically, you could sit wherever the fuck you want as long as you're like six oh, feet away. Six feet away? Really? Yeah, that's not bad. How many people are they letting in? Or is it like I everybody? The, as much as they like can. Eight? I think the last um, the last game was nine. But nine? it didn't even nine people, nine nine thousand, <laughs> nine people. It's like there is sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. I think they let in ten people. Hey Pat, nine. so you go to New Mexico State? Are you like kind of pissed off that New Mexico State didn't have a football season this year? Mm, I miss the tailgate. Tailgate is always yeah. fun at MSU, but yeah, I'm kind of bummed I'm out. My dad man. now, so I don't think I can tailgate anymore. I think you can, man. Like later, I'm like not now, but like later I can. I think. I think you can. We'll see. <laughs> you still got a couple more months, man. man. Up by That's three. True. But um, up by three. Damn, yep. what the fuck happened? Oh Dude, shit, the Lakers. Murray, man, Murray's the shit. He's the shit, man. All right. So one of the things I wanted to ask you guys, because today's the Thursday night football game. It's the Jaguars versus the Dolphin. fucking Dolphins, and it was funny the way they were like advertising it because it's like the two worst teams in the NFL, and the way they advertised it was. The beard versus the stash. <laughs> like Gardner, Menchu, mm. and fucking Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ooh. And I'm like, really? They had to go off of looks. But then it like just had me wondering, like, who are the best looking players in the NFL? So you have Jimmy Garoppolo, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, and maybe Dak Prescott. I would say like I don't know. Dak's so hard. <laughs> well, the reason I bring up hmm. Dak because this last week he was wearing a cowboy hat, oh, and like so the internet went crazy. Yeah, he looked like a. He had his dead. He looked like yeah. the dude from Blazing Saddles. No, yeah. but like a lot of people were like, <laughs> "I'm back!" Like everyone, back like was going crazy, and they're like, "Dude!" Like I know a lot of girls are like, "He looks so fucking handsome with that." Yeah, it's a cowboy, cowboy hat. hat. You put you put a cowboy hat on anybody, yeah, they look yeah. handsome. True. Yeah, but who who do you think are like the good looking players? Not necessarily quarterbacks, but the good looking players in the NFL. Me, and then like, <laughs> is there any like good looking players that you would say that I didn't name? Probably no. Like Jimmy G is probably the most. He's probably the most yeah, handsome that you can be a model of. Probably. So like when Anthony did the, I was gonna say we did the, the face swap. Yeah. We had like a lot of ugly people. Um. When we were doing that quarterback face swap mm-hmm. and shit. As but, girls, they look weird. Yeah, the, the girls, they look fucking like... I think it was the Kyler Murray one that looked like, what the fuck? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But um, what was I going to tell you? Like, some of the ugly quarterbacks or the ugly players that I came up with... Oh, ugly was, players? Well, like, the good-looking ones are Jimmy G, Russell Wilson, Tom Brady, and Dak Prescott. Those are, like, the good-looking ones, I would say. The bad-looking ones are Drew Brees. Fucking looks like Jimmy Neutron, and he got some... 
his little birthmark on the side of his face. <laughs> Poor you know. guy. No, but he, <laughs> it's not his fault he was born that way. <laughs> it's not his fault he can't read. He's the mark of Buddha. <laughs> ben Roethlisberger. That's a tough one. To look He's at. pretty ugly. A lot ugly, but. Uh, Gardner Minshew. He's pretty ugly. Who's the Jets one? Sam, Sam Darnold. Sam, and then Sam, Sam Darnold. Darnold. Yeah, that dude. Those are the four he that looked, I He looks up. ugly as a dude and a chick. Yeah. Bro, like. You know what's crazy? He came up with mono. So you know he was making out with some girls. He came up yeah. with mono? Yeah. Huh? yeah, yeah he got year. mono like last I like, year. I thought yeah. mono's been around for like hundreds of years. How did he come up with it? I don't know. No, you know what I mean. I he know. got mono. I got you. So... Wonder how what he about got. like Julian Edelman? Julian Edelman's a pretty good looking dude. Oh, I forgot about that guy. You're right. Yeah. There's hmm. Julian Edelman. Shit, man. <laughs> what was that? Why are you Shit. licking your lips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here. Mm. Nah, Gronk? Gronk. Gronk. Gronk is not. Gronk good. looks like a fucking professional wrestler, like a WD, WWE He's wrestler. Scary. He reminds me of like a dragon that. Rich, <laughs> dragon? Yeah. Richard Sherman looks like the fucking predator and shit. Oh, he's Rich, oh, he's Rich, got big Rich, nostrils. Richard yeah, looks like Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> 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 oh man! All right, so um, in the news, there was the I guess the hearing to see if those police officers would be mm. indicted for the oh, Breonna Taylor. Um, so it seems like. N- no officers are going to be indicted for the shooting of Breonna Taylor. Uh, that's like a big story going on, yeah. especially in the sports world. It looks like the NBA has really, you know, been the top league in terms of like, like, a, vo- like a voice. Yeah, yeah, the voice. Uh, and it, w- it was just making me wonder like, shit, man, because her story is a lot different from the George Floyd story, right? Yeah, yeah. As far as I know, she was just in her apartment, right? She was just like in her in the comfort of her own home, and then they ended up like fucking going in gun yeah, blazing. Yeah, they had they had a no knock warrant or whatever the fuck. I yeah, guess. and they just fucking shot her and fucking she died. From what I like, I said I don't follow it. I, I don't probably don't know all the details either. But as yeah. far as I know, I think they had a no knock warrant. They broke in. She was there with another individual right uh, her boyfriend or something yeah i don't i and he heard the commotion of the door breaking in and so he came out with a gun and okay. so they they just shot both of them i i think that's fucking crazy a fucking gun jesus christ but it, i mean it, it's just a shitty situation though because i mean who if you put yourself in the situation you hear somebody breaking through the door yeah yeah, yeah you don't yeah. identify <laughs> themselves as police you just see guns you're gonna shoot yeah yeah, yeah. so Sketch. Yeah, but then it, again, it's like the officers are probably doing what the fuck they were told to do, you know, go in there and get this or look for this person. I think they were looking for somebody that wasn't I, even there. But it, you know, it, the no knock warrant bullshit. That's kind of yeah, intrusive. It, like, it is. But it's it, like it's like okay, like for example, if we're here recording the podcast and they fucking just kick over, open that door, and then. I decide to get my beer and throw it at them because like, I don't know who the fuck they are. Yeah. And then they said, oh, we attacked them and they just fucking end up shooting one of us, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, we'd be like, well, what the fuck, dude? Like, you know? But on the same token, too, you got to you gotta think of it. The reason, the reason why they... I heard them try to justify it by saying that the reason why they do that is because they don't want to knock off whoever's in there. Like, let's say a drug bust, right? Yeah, yeah. They don't want to knock on the door and then you destroy the evidence before they can get the yeah, door yeah. open right no i i get and, that and like in a situation like if there's a child in danger or something and you have to just go in there like to save them that's a different situation but i think like some bullshit charge that they're looking for some random dude busting doors open mm-hmm. like that's kind of like i don't know yeah all right so i wanted to bring this up it's kind of um, bullshit though that none of them are responsible like that yeah that's stupid as well. i mean Somebody's got to be responsible for these people. Like, it's not their fault that they broke in. You yeah, know what I mean? no, like, no. Um, all right, I can so understand how there'd be outrage. I kind of want to move it to more like a funny thing. Um, I brought up a video. Anthony, I don't know if you want to start the video. I want to see your guys' reaction. It was something that I shared on Facebook earlier today. Um, but this video came out, I don't know exactly when, but maybe like a, a day or two ago. Or like a week ago, I'm not too sure, but it's basically this woman getting arrested at a 
oh, at yeah. a middle school football game for not wearing a mask. For not wearing a mask. But I want to I want you guys to see it in its entirety and then get your guys's reaction without me saying any more. All right, so Anthony's going to be starting the video any time now. Here we go. Hold on. Oh, you need to plug it in or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for the volume. Dang, we got mics everywhere. Uh, can you hear me on this mic? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we okay. can. You sound good, man. All right. Here we go. Oh, whoa. What the fuck? Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, Manscaped. Just Ooh. kidding. You're not a sponsor, so. Unless you are a sponsor, then shut up. <laughs> All right. Here we go. This guy's a cop? Yeah. There's a security guard, it looks like. Look at this guy just minding his own damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> For real. The fucking definition of chilling. This guy. <laughs> this is over a mask. It's not. It's like, you know what time Arby's opens? <laughs> <laughs> Guys are like, I can't see the game. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what quarter is it again? <laughs> Y'all very distracting. <laughs> Did I forget to put the mayonnaise back in the refrigerator? <laughs> Down in front. <laughs> Down in front. I don't know. I don't think he can arrest her for not wearing a mask. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this sucks, but at the same time, it's like, just hold put on, a hold. fucking mask on. Yeah, well, watch, watch. Well, you talk to them, that's everyone's dilemma. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> he hit it with the juice? Oh, waka waka waka. Don't taste me, bro. <laughs> I like how the cheerleaders just get louder and louder. Fuck yeah, cheerleaders. Taze her again. <laughs> Don't taste me, bro. T-A-Z. <laughs> dude, she took that taze like a champ, though. Yeah, she was all talking through it. Like, hey, look at that dude got up. He's all like, hey, can you just, like, sit down? I can't watch like, the game. He's like, will somebody tell me what quarter it is? <laughs> what kind of taser is that? <laughs> is that a new model? <laughs> That's a nice taser, boy. I think I got me one of those. Did you get that at the Walmart? See? Hey, where's your mask? Hey, where's your mask? And the look way. She's all fucking on meth. That's why she was able to take that taste. Mm. What? Mask up. Oh, here comes another. Ran a cop. Right there. She's like, what? We got action? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> she like, I was taking a shit right now. <laughs> Uh, you I was over there eating a churro. I had diarrhea since <laughs> Easter. <laughs> <laughs> in the porta pot. <laughs> Alright. Alright, wow. so. Well, down. That was interesting. Patrick, what are your thoughts on that? Seeing a woman get arrested for not wearing a mask at a football game. I'm assuming her child's football game. I think it was her cousin's football game. <laughs> her cousin. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, you hate to see it. But then again, it's like Anthony says, just wear a damn mask. It's like it's. All they're asking is like to wear a mask. Yeah, Anthony, what what are your thoughts seeing that video? Because I have a few thoughts on it. I like how I the black guy it. was throwing jabs. He's all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I just I feel like people are just don't like being told what to do, and that's oh, yeah. that's that what it breaks down to. Because 
Everybody else is wearing a mask there. Nobody else is complaining. Yeah, yeah. There's one person that is. Now, did it have to go as that far as to tasing her over it? Probably not. But it's kind of like, like the people are saying, over a mask, over a mask. And she's like, well, yeah, she's arguing with him over a mask. So it's like, yeah. it, you can go both ways with that argument, right? And so it's kind of like, man, just... Why can't we just be civil? You know what I mean? Like, just fucking put a mask on. How hard is it? Yeah. All right. So here's my thoughts on it is she's not wearing a mask. You're absolutely right. And I don't think you could arrest someone by not wearing a mask. But I will say this. If the rules are you ha- you go and see your child play and they want you to wear a mask and that's their rule. You could come see your child play, but you got to wear a mask. The moment you don't wear that mask, they're going to ask you to leave, right? And if you don't leave because you're not wearing the mask, it's trespassing. It becomes trespassing. It becomes, well, you're not following our rules. We're going to have to ask you to leave. You're not leaving. Okay, we're going to call security. It doesn't matter if it's security or an actual officer. We're going to ask you to leave. And she starts resisting and she's fighting. You're it's a snowball the from not just a snowball from not leaving, baby. and a she's being asked to leave. Turning into a snowball, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So Damn, they have every nasty. right, in my opinion, they have every right to get her out of there. One, he didn't shoot her. <laughs> he yeah. didn't shoot imagine her. If, imagine if you shot her, how crazy that would be. But like, <laughs> look, like, and it was a like, black dude. And yeah, here, dude. here's look, <laughs> you're gonna die. One, guy. <laughs> one, and no not, way, man. not. There wasn't a point in that video where I felt that he was hurting her. No. This guy was like a 400-pound officer. Oh, he Look, could hurt her if he wanted he, to. If he wanted to, he could have literally grabbed her and thrown Probably her on the ground. Her <laughs> thrown her on the ground like a rag doll. Like twist her arm on. around. Put the fucking cuffs on her and escort her out yeah. like that. But he was like, no, nah, like I'm trying to. And then the other woman is there just fucking like. Trying yeah. to like get like, off the like in that. in the officer's face or it's the security right guard's face. Yeah. Anthony Davis for two. So yeah, like you can't. Oh, I, at Davis least I don't down. feel like you could arrest someone by not wearing a mask. Uh-oh. But you can ask someone to leave right. for not wearing a mask if those are the rules of being there. Yeah. Because after that, if they're asking you to leave, you're trespassing, and you're not leaving, you're trespassing. Right. So. I was reading the comments, and I thought they were so funny because like people were like. Well, at least he didn't shoot her or like, you know, people were going the other way, like saying, fucking Karen, just wear a mask. Or yeah, shit I, like dude, that. I, that, that's where I'm at. You know what I mean? It's like, especially like uh, businesses, like if you go into a business and they're telling you, hey, you need to wear a mask. And then these people flip out and they're like, they start. I saw one that this lady went into a liquor store and she literally started knocking wine bottles off the fucking shelves. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you're going to pay for that. Right, lady? Like. Or like, have you seen you know the, I mean? like, have you seen the ones where like fucking the lady comes in and she's like, why is it always a lady? I, I, it's, that's another thing. Fucking Karen. Karen like bro. seriously, fucking Karen, like, dude. I feel bad for Karens like, like that aren't Karen. Karen, Karen's husband, sense. people that are named Karen. That yeah, that are fucking. Cool. Yeah. yeah, like um, fuck. We need to get a Karen on the show. And just like ask a, like a person named Karen or a Karen. yeah, just a, ask her how hard it is being in a Karen. Oh, being a Karen, that's true. I actually have to go, guys. I'm so sorry. No, no, we're. we're we're gonna wrap up. Time are we at? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wrap up pretty quick. Okay. Because just because Peter's not here today, but yeah, we can't go that long. Yeah, I just wanted yeah, to I ask you guys like that sorry. that one video because I saw it today and I was just like, "Fuck, dude, this like just so crazy." And it it was crazy that it happened to be a black officer <laughs> arresting a, a, a white, white woman, yeah. and I was like, and like from the looks of it and the sound of it, it sounded like there was an Arkansas in, in the Midwest. It was yeah. Arkansas. I'm just kidding. I'm no it sound. sounds like the I Midwest the or ass. maybe like the South or some shit like that. And everyone there is like, she getting arrested for a mask? Like, what kind of shit is that? And then the, like Breonna Taylor got shot for nothing. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> for what, for so, fucking uh, watching Lifetime. And right? Shit, so, you know? Go fuck yourself. And then this woman's like not leaving. And But it, I was just like, man, imagine if that was your mom, how you would feel. Like, my mom would have beat that guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> but like how embarrassed would you be oh, like man. you're on the field I'd be like god damn it you're on the field and you like look up and <laughs> mom, like mom's Bottom getting ass. arrest mom's getting arrested and you're like god damn it again, again mom <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the <laughs> ghetto has got it's into the third time this son week. of a bitch you're like she did this shit at walmart earlier this week you know like <laughs> fuck dude he's like, I, I would he's be like so daddy my mom <laughs> <laughs> did she say number 34 is her son no uh 
Nah, but I don't know. I, poor yeah. little guy. I yeah, think, it kind of sucks for the kids that had to watch their fucking mom be taken. Yeah, that you know that shit. kid's gonna be teased. The kids in like his football. Well, no, kid, and like, then who's taking? But, but think today? about this. Now those kids are gonna hate the fucking cops because they just saw their mom get fucking arrested for some bullshit. And they're like, fuck the cops. You're just you're you're fuck black cops. Continue. Don't, yeah. don't forget yeah. that. Yeah, in, in, yeah, in that yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're gonna say. But you know what I mean? It's kind of like. Not me. I, love I don't know. Like type, w- when you're around class. kids like that, like y- the least you could do is like be responsible. You know what I mean? Like why wouldn't you just tell, you know what kids, this guy's infringing on my freedom, but look, this is the smart thing to do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Y- like use it as a teaching moment. Don't be fucking kicking and screaming your ass out the fucking <laughs> radio. Ow, you know what I mean? Like you're making the situation worse. You know? You're not making it better. I don't know. But anyway, so Pat's going to have to leave pretty soon. So I guess yeah. we'll just wrap up shop. Yeah. Oh, watch. predictions, predictions real fast. Predictions oh, yeah. on what? Cowboys. Oh, the Dallas Cowboys are going to win the Stanley Cup. And the Stanley Cup. Oh, they're down 2-1. All right, yeah. Pat, you're the first one. What, oh, the what's going ha- to happen with yeah, yeah. the Dallas Cowboys? The Dallas Cowboys are going to win against the Seattle Seahawks. Awesome. By three points. By three points. Last second And then field the Dallas one. Stars are also going to win the Stanley Cup. And today is the Boston Red Sox last home game. Shout out to the Red Sox. What they didn't ter- make the playoffs. What a terrible season. <laughs> Tough season. Yeah, very tough. It's okay. All right. Uh, Chris, Come any on. last words? Uh, hopefully the Raiders could beat Cam. The Raiders. Who's Cam? Oh, Cam Newton. The Patriots. Uh, Isaac <laughs> Newton. Duh. Yeah, I forgot about that guy. Anyways, so Raiders, let's see if they could go 3-0. and Cowboys, let's see if they can keep on winning. I'm Anthony, pretty sure keep on keeping on. Anthony? Yeah, last uh, episode five or six, I'm sorry. Episode six is up on YouTube. Check it out. Um, good episode. Patrick Medina. Patrick Medina, Hydro Flask the Hydro Flask winner. winner. And then Amber, she was last week's Hydro Flask winner. Yeah, we haven't posted a picture um, with Amber yet. We have not. No, because that's still, that's still up for. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Anthony I'll just, did. I'll photo her shop her face over Patrick <laughs> Medina. Well, yeah, but Amber, Amber did win the Hydro Flask, so we have two left. Um but yeah, we'll see how we come up with the next couple of raffles in the coming weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, maybe when Peter gets back. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention before we end this show, my girl Mandy Moore. She's having a baby. Oh, really? I thought yeah. she died or something. I was like, <laughs> yeah. wear her jersey too. Or <laughs> I wore her jersey. She, she tore her ACL. Yeah. <laughs> no, she tore her ACL. <laughs> she's, out, she's out for the life. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's having a baby. And you know what's crazy? Mandy Moore's 36, guys. Oh, you already know? Let that sink in. Mm. Mandy Moore's 36 years old. Well, and yeah, she was dude. like... I was just watching Entourage. Really. Fucking and, she, and she was like a 90s fucking pop star. Yeah. So well, that's how old we are. Yeah, like... Well, and that's the trippy thing. Like, dude, she's been around forever well, since she, Pat was oh, no, a little... That was Jessica Biel. I think Jessica Biel. Mm. I fucking love mm. Jessica Biel. Dude, I'm a big. Well, real Mandy. quick, which just or uh, Mandy Moore or Jessica? Jessica Biel, 100. Oh, Mandy Moore, all the way. I love Mandy Moore. <laughs> Jessica Biel was on Seventh Heaven, and dude, yeah, Mandy yeah. Mandy, yeah. Mandy Moore was on Entourage, no, and I, no, I and she broke Vinny That's Chase's hard. heart. Of course she did. She fucking destroyed his heart. I know. I was literally just watching that today. That's that crazy. episode? Yeah, or like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. I was stuck on a rabbit hole on YouTube of just Entourage. But yeah, shout out to Manny Moore. Um, I guess your life is over. You're having a kid. <laughs> Don't um, say that. <laughs> your life is over. Robert. Your life is over. You're having At 37, your life is over. <laughs> no, 36. Oh, 36. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, So that's our show. Love you, Peter. Uh, next week, hopefully Peter is back in Charlie's Bar. And hopefully we have a special guest coming in. Mm. And yeah. I, I'm, I'm looking... Special, special guest. Yeah, special, special guest. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, we're going to have to draw some straws, guys, to see who gets... Who has to get between the pipes on this the challenge. One. Yeah. yeah. Um, Good clue. Yeah. The but, intern. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, well, <laughs> well, the guy has a... He has to have an opportunity to get it by you. So it can't be someone too big. So, hey, well, I guess we're out, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, Anthony yeah. to, <laughs> I'm trying to think quick. No, so, anyways, without <laughs> any more clues, uh, we'll just end the show. So, yeah. guys, this was The Middle is Open.
trying to do a motherfucking podcast in here, shit. <laughs>